where to start? There's so much going on. So I thought I'd take this time to take you through what's happening with all the charge heads builds and a little bit more. So let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? So if you've been following what's been happening in charge heads recently, you'll know that Rusty got a bit of a bump. It had been to the body shop, and let me turn around the camera and I'll show you the result. Now, if you might remember, this front bumper was absolutely mullered. It had paint missing here. It looked pretty darn awful. But now, it looks all good. I haven't even got any uh, insects smashed on it yet, so that's all good. Color match. As everyone will know, colour match on testers is so difficult. I think they tried to colour match it about mm, more than a few times, but at the end of the day, Rusty's about 50 sh shades of white anyway. Although I don't know why, but the wheels look a bit more yellowy than they used to. Uh, I've actually polished them back, but I think I'll end up spraying them. I really want to spray them yellow, but unfortunately, that won't look so good if you're turning up to uh, business uh, appointments because I have got a new job, which I'll uh, share the information of soon because it's really exciting, will help certainly the electric transition in a positive way. And I've got, I've got all, the, all the toys out here, but as we're with Rusty, we'll keep going. So as many will know, I got a spoiler from EV Base and I thought, Do you know what? I think I'm gonna go with it. Let's spray it white, see if it, see if it looks any good. I don't like it. Simply, it just, I mean, it's fine, but it's just, it's just not for me. I mean, whack it in the comments what people think. I think the general, some angles it looks all right, but I'm not gonna fit something that doesn't look, you know, that I'm happy with at the end of the day. So, yoink, that one's coming off. Now, do I fit the original spoiler back on, which is down there somewhere? Uh, by the way, this is on eBay for now, this white spoiler, uh, and it's pearl white. It's exactly the same white as the Tesla white. I'll put it on eBay for now, 200 quid. Make me an offer or what have you. If I haven't sold it by the EV festival, it'll be coming to the EV festival and I want to be getting shot of it. So uh, bring some cash monies or uh, your bank details and we'll make a deal. But other than that, Rusty's going all right. As you know, Cleveland EV uh, replaced rear bushes. I've not done anything about the front suspension bushes yet. I have got a solution because one of the kind charge hedge viewers has offered me their arms, which they haven't got many miles on. Quite like using used parts as long as they're good enough. And uh, we're gonna take out the bearings, uh, the uh, spherical bearings, the mountain pass performance ones, and put them back in again. So that should pass the MOT, which is in October. And then get rid of the squeakiness because I'm gonna use a video which uh, Alex, one, the guy that has the blue Tesla modified one at the start of the charge heads videos at the start, he said that there was a good video for injecting them with uh, lubricant uh, to stop them squeaking. So I'll probably do that just as a bit of a DIY because I am massively broke. And one of the ma reasons I'm massively broke um, is the TVR. The TVR has just literally ripped every bit of savings out of me. Plus I've not had a job for a couple of months. Um, so, Fingers crossed by just after Christmas, I can start, you know, uh, spending a little bit more money on the things that need spending money on. But I'll turn the camera around to show you what I've been doing in the meantime. Right, uh, you haven't probably heard a lot from uh, Special Trikey. I forgot the name then, uh, from Trikey. It's because its battery, which is down here, started doing some really funky stuff. Um, I'm not sure if that was part of it, but it started to lose battery power and it just wasn't going well. So I need to update the battery and I've got one of the charge heads members that's gonna help me with that. I just haven't had time to go around there. So hopefully I can sort that before the EV festival. I have a special trike at the EV festival because it'd be great to uh, ride around on it. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be good fun. So you might notice, I've got this uh, battered rear bumper. Now, while, um, as the charge heads will know, if you've been watching the TVR build, and please go back and watch it. This is how charge heads all came about in the beginning. Tesla powered uh, TVR, 1980s, wedge, wedgie, as she's called. Um, it had a bonnet with some stupid bonnet vents in it. And um, 
I had uh, was having a conversation with someone and he was breaking a TVR. Now, as you can tell, it's not blue. It's actually a really lovely green color. Gosh, show me age now. But it hasn't got any stupid bonnet vents. So I'm gonna be swapping out the blue one for this one. Um, and it only wanted only 50 quid. And I lost one for about 100 quid before and they are rare, really hard to get hold of. So happy that I've got that. Even though I was tight for money, had to be done. And I did that while I was, went for like a mini beach holiday with uh, Rebel, if you saw it on the socials, TikTok and uh, Instagram, whatever it was. He had a load of bits and he also had this rear bumper. Um, and in the end, and it's like, oh, Tim, you don't need a rear bumper, you already got one. Yes, I know I already have one and it's the right color, but my one's got some like random holes there. Random, when I say random, they're actually exhaust holes, but they all need filling. But the holes on this, they, I don't think they look so much like exhaust holes and look more like kind of factory kind of aerodynamics holes. So I might do something with them, we will see. Um, but I thought for the sake of 20 quid, why not? They end up having a multicolored uh, TVR in the end. So that's what's going on with all the builds at the moment. Um, and we've got EV Festival coming up. Uh, Rusty's going to be there. I'm going to try and get Trikey there. I'm not sure whether um, the wedge is going to be there. Last time I spoke to Ralph, he said it's going to be a few weeks uh, for the MOT, but then after the MOT, it will need road testing and loads of other stuff need doing to it. The dash still needs doing, but it does feel like it's getting closer. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard that before. Anyway, I thought I'd give everyone the update on everything that's going on. Before I forget, I've still got these unplugged performance coilovers on eBay. They're up for 990 quid or something now. They're two and a half grand brand new. Absolute steal for someone who wants a firm coilover ride. There we go, unplugged performance. And they also fit Model 3 and Model Y. So, you know, I think that's the thing at the moment. It's just everyone is hard up for money at the moment. Um, I've got some springs as well, which were the ones that came with those coilovers and the other parts, but I don't even know what it's for. So I'm just gonna part, put the part number, put them separately on eBay as well. Um, probably bring them to the EV Festival. So don't forget the EV Festival. Uh, last time was a washout, I did a video of that, but there'll be, there'll be loads of EVs there, some really interesting stuff. You never know where you might be there. Also, one thing that I forgot, check out the YEV podcast. This is the EV podcast, Balanced Opinions. It's me, Kevin Booker. He's a five-time world record holder for EV efficiency. Captain Efficiency, I like to call him. And we've got Alex uh, Grant, who is ex-Max Power Performance VW. I know it's wrong on many levels, the fact it's a Lotus and it's an SUV. But I kind of, because if you got rid of the EV side of it, I, quite, I still quite like the styling of the Lamborghini Urus. And I, quite, I think the Lotus looks a bit like that, <laughs> being an electric car. I, I quite like an angry, aggressive looking performance car. You don't look like you'd like an angry car, Kevin. You, um, you... Well, <laughs> knowing Alex, about your efficiency routes, you know. Alex, who's known me for quite a while, will know some of the color choices of my previous cars that I've yeah. had. It's, the first thing you turned up in here, here in was a highlighter yellow Toyota Igo. So we're actually changing it. Last podcast would have been Thursday. It's going to be every Sunday at eight o'clock, so check it out. Um, so it's gonna be EV news on there, content, and you can join in live or you can watch it later on. So if got any um, comments, anything you would like us to cover, whack it in there, but there's gonna be some great content in there for sure. And it's the first episode's done really well. So if you've not checked it out, go and check it out now.